All right, here we go. I'm going to show you how to uh, trigger backtracks uh, samples with Mainstage and Logic. So you can do this during a live performance. A lot of people are suggesting using the EXS24. I disagree. I think the EXS24, it's inconsistent on the beat that it comes in on because it's human run. Uh, one thing is with Ultra Beat is that you can trigger the sample as you'd like and then also you can trigger it so that it comes in on the the one beat. Um, so here's how you do it with Ultra Beat. And also another thing with EXS24 is if you keep re-triggering, it'll just keep layering that sample to go on and on and on. It'll just sound like crap. So here we go, Ultra Beat. Now here's what I do. I go to Oscillator 2 right down here. Click on that, load sample. I look for my little sample. I got this one right here. Open. Alright, so I got that sample right here loaded. I'm going to turn on this beat 1. And then all I do, well, first of all, let me show you what I do what I can do. So I can trigger it as many times as I want. It's not layering on top of each other. And then here I click this one. I turned it on. Press play. Uh, it's only hitting that one. So what do I do? I click right about here at the very edge and drag the gate over. Now one thing you got to watch out for is you got to make sure the tempo is adjusted so that it's correctly. So if you put it at the wrong tempo, it's not going to see. So you got to make sure it's the right tempo. And uh that's pretty much it. All you got to do now is if you're interested in having it so that it triggers, you can trigger different samples. All you got to do is load these samples up and you can also turn pattern mode on and then this is assigned to C1 you can change different patterns uh, so that you can trigger a whole bunch of different uh, options so I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope I can get this video on YouTube if you see it then chances are I, I did okay alright take care